I will tell you something. Power is attractive. The most attractive thing under the sun is power. Naturally, women are attracted to power. It is a natural thing, even if you go to the nightclub, even if you go to the bar, even if you go anywhere where people are drinking, the man who buys alcohol goes home with the most women. It is natural. Anywhere where you find people drinking, the ice boy, the ice boy who is there, in most cases, will go home without a woman. He will only go back home carrying the ice box. Why? Because he is not showing any power. But the man who buys alcohol, because of that power and the command, he commands a lot of respect, he commands a lot. And because of that, he becomes attractive. That is why a lot of people are attracted to charismatic churches. A lot of people are attracted to prophetic churches. Why? Because there is an illusion that is created around the pastor, the fox, the jackal, the thief, the robber. There's an illusion created around him. That is why you go on social media, you will see a pastor, a prophet. He's a jackal, he's a fox. You see them flexing on social media. Yeah, I said flexing. You see them flexing, posting cars that don't belong to them. It's an illusion that has been created. You see them posting houses that don't belong to them. It's an illusion that has been created. You see them posting money that they don't have. It's an illusion that they're creating. So that anyone who's watching from afar will look at them and say, wow, this is so nice. I must belong to this church. But remember, the main, main a objective of the church is found in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse number 12. When I got hold of this revelation and when I got hold of this information, I went on my uh, social media. I took down any card that I ever posted. I took down any picture of myself standing next to a car or trying to post that I've got something. I took it down. Ever since that day up until today, go on my Instagram, go on my Facebook, go on my YouTube, you will never see me standing next to a car. You will never see me standing next to a house. You will never see me coming out to say, uh, 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 breaking to say, I just bought this, I just own this, now I own this. I will never do that. Why? Because my assignment is to be your shepherd, not to be your, your inspiration in terms of Gucci. Not to be your inspiration in terms of Louis Vuitton. Not to be your inspiration in terms of Versace. Not to be your inspiration in terms of wearing an Angelo Galasso suit. Not your inspiration, but I must inspire you. Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. So the inspiration that you draw from me as your leader must be a Christocentric inspiration. The day that I inspire you to go and buy a Rolls Royce, then you must know that I have missed my assignment. The day that you follow a pastor simply because he is driving a Rolls Royce, you have missed your assignment. So it is an illusion that is created. An illusion that is created around the, the, the so-called pastor, the so-called prophet. So that what can happen? So that a, a, a certain level of greatness can be projected to the world. What else? So that the man can be magnified to people. So that when you look at the man, you will say, oh no, there's no way that he wants my offering because he's driving a Lamborghini. There's no way that he wants my offering because he's driving a, 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 a Rolls Royce. There is no way that he can want my offering because he lives in a mansion. There's no way that this man can go after my money simply because he's posting money on social media. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. There's no reality there. Listen, one man said, the day you have money, you will never brag about it. You will always want to hide it. Money, the day that it appears in your pocket, you will always want to hide it. Everybody who's boasting and boasting on social media, those, are, those people are broke. There's no money there. It's an illusion that they are creating so that a following can be created and a following can begin to follow them. So from today, if you're watching me now, from today, if you're watching me from wherever you're watching me from, I want you to know this. Stay away from a man of God who loves to show off on social media. He's not a man of God. He's a jackal. Many people will say, oh no, so are we not supposed to testify? Are we not supposed to? Are we not supposed to? Listen, there's a difference between testimony and breaking. There's a very, very big difference there. 
Most of the things that we see on social media, this is breaking, it's not testimony. So this is an illusion that is created so that anybody who follows will always say, no, I'm following a rich man of God. There's no way you can want my offering up until you get to the church and they say, it's time for offering. Now if you've got 10,000 rand stand on the left, if you've got 20,000 stand here, if you've got a thousand US dollars coming stand here, up until you see them going on social media and telling you that one-on-one, -on -one, for you to have a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me, you must pay $500. For you to have a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me, you must pay $3,000. Then you begin to ask yourself, but why should I pay you 3,000 rands to just have a one-on-one -on -one with you? Yet, you claim huh, to be as rich as you portray on social media. It's an illusion. There's no reality.